So there I was, happy as Larry, running around, putting all my vertical pieces on, playing the air guitar, playing the air piano, and just having an all-round good time. And then I got that all done. I'd pretty much uh, finished the video, edited, put it out there. And then my brother watched it and uh, prompted him to take a walk outside and have a look. And he noticed that all of the vertical pieces on the walls, whilst all in line, didn't match the corners. The turned points on each balustrade at the corners were opposite. It was upside down. Now there was a bit of a reason for that, is I needed the longest section of flat on the balustrade to go to the very bottom of the horizontal trim. That was my original plan. But once I cast my eyes on it, it became glaringly obvious and I couldn't live with it. Fortunately, I was able to swap around, just unscrew them, swap them around so that the turn points matched the turn points of the wall, do a little bit of cutting here and there, uh, but the thing that I had to change was no longer going to the very bottom of the horizontal trim is butting it to the top and so on the front I've still got a bit of finish work to do there but on the back I didn't have enough of that curvy trim to uh, meet them together at each corner so I had to put a block in there of some kind so I again went and grabbed the, uh, the very short bell tracks I went and grabbed the very short balustrades that I couldn't use, chopped them off, utilised the little curved section at the bottom, and you'll see by the pictures, and I screwed those two points on at the back there, and then took the corner ones, after having flipped them, and butted them on top of that. And so that's going to require some filling, patching, filling, sanding, painting, all of that kind of thing, to make it look like one. But then I'll put some masking tape in line with the top of the bottom horizontal trim and paint the lower portion the same as the trim and the top will remain white. So that sort of fixed that problem. The other thing that became very obvious to me was that back wall. I should have started each of those balustrades one curve of the trim back towards the corner because when I stood back and look at them, up the top, the gap was just too wide. So I went to the trouble of pulling them all off. They were all good lengths, so they, I could just shift them all across by one. But of course I had to clean off the liquid nails that I'd used to put them on and do a couple of heavy coats of paint to cover up that obvious, those obvious marks. But that solved all that problem. Now the other thing is, my full intention was right up to that point with my full intention was to have all those balustrades continue bottom to top above and below that horizontal portion but I was down there tending to that, uh, that bonfire and I looked back up the hill at the wagon and I thought, my god that looks good only with the bottom portion done with the balustrades. It was like a clean break between the bottom and the top. And then I started thinking about the top of what I could do there and then all these ideas came flooding in of a very arty and creative nature. And so I decided right there and then that's it, the balustrades were not going to continue up. I'm going to do something else up the top. Now the ideas I have could be costly so at the moment nothing's happening with the top I haven't decided but the ideas that are flooding in if I can find a cost-effective way to approach that then I'd love to do that and it's gonna look fantastic so that's where we're at at the moment time to move on to something else the jobs never end
This is what I spent my primary school years here in Australia sitting on in class. The old timber and metal double school desk. With the lift up lids. Yeah, it brings back some memories. Seeing as though most of my Audience is not in Australia. Wherever you are, who had these in their schools? I'm not sure if they're uniquely Australian or all around the world, but they were very ubiquitous in the Australian primary school class. Sometimes there was a single version, but not often, they were mostly double. And you're either sitting next to a mate or someone you didn't like or maybe a girl you had a crush on it's also where you used to prepare your little spitball spitball your mates across the room with the old big pen anyway the reason I have this is it's not particularly an antique. They are vintage, but they're a dime a dozen. They're always for sale somewhere on Marketplace, which is where I got this from. And so I don't mind wrecking it. And so when I look at it, it looks remarkably like a buggy seat to me, especially when you take this off. So I've had this idea in mind for quite a while. I'm going to play around with this and create an alfresco dining or even somewhere to sit and have your coffee outside still on the gypsy wagon enjoy the morning sun we'll see what we can come up with hello doggy what's going on come up here come up here what you doing hey Hello. Remember the days of the old schoolyard? We used to laugh a lot. Oh, we used to get out of these a lot easier too.
Saga. It's a buggy seat. Well, it used to be a school desk. I think it looks the part.
here watching the cows choose their paddock for the night and this is the problem when you don't have a plan that's you know well thought out in advance and settled on certain things. Uh, those shutters I bought second hand and they were pretty much that colour, just dirty, needed to clean up. So I washed them, gave them a clean up, cut them down to size. Obviously I had to cut them down, they were too long. And I then just spray coated them with a kind of a lighter version of that colour, just one coat. And they look great. But then as you do, you stand back and have a look at your handiwork. And another thing really stood out to me. I started thinking, imagine if all the balustrades were that sky blue colour. It actually blends, that sky blue I think blends far better with the darker colours than the extreme white. And then of course the realisation of the extreme amount of work that would be required to paint those balustrades in place. I could if I wanted to. Slightly tease the balustrades and get paper in behind them to protect the back wall and then it would just be a whole heap of paper and taping up everything else so that I could attack it with a spray brush. I think I'm going to have to forget it. I don't know, maybe the fourth colour of sky blue on the shutters is uh, directs people's eyes directly to that and they pop out. I kind of like it as is. Once I start thinking about something, I can't stop thinking about it, and I'm just imagining all of that white, sky blue, blending in so much better with the two shades of what you call green. Anyway, what I wanted to do with those shutters is I actually wanted them functional. Either hinge closed in front of the window, or an idea I thought was much better is have them slide in and then you just lock them off in the center. But I could not come up with a slide rail mechanism of some kind. I could not find any second hand um, you know, sliding door rails or something like that that were also weren't huge uh, to fit doors some kind of C channel or I just could not find anything so I'm gonna come back to that in the future I think because I, I, I'd like them to be operational or they'll just stay fixed as they are now so they're just fixed permanently now which in the modern world when people build houses with uh, timber shutters they generally are fixed they aren't operational it's only in extreme conditions where people actually need shutters but anyway that's done. For now. I still have so much more to do um, outside every time I think about it. There's, there's plenty more to do, so I'll be coming back outside eventually. But I think it's time to go inside, and I've got a ton of work to do in there. So this video took a little while to come out. The other problem is I've had a future project launch into my brain and I can't stop thinking about it. It's got nothing to do with this and I've been wasting a lot of time searching things, searching online for things related to that. Um, this may be the last one before Christmas. I think so. I think we'll see out the year with this one folks. If you've hung around this far, have yourself a great Christmas, holiday period, time off, relax, have fun, and barring catastrophe, I'll be getting straight back into it, continuing on until I finish. I wish I could pick an end point. I'm sure it'll come to me. I'm sure it will uh, reveal itself at some point. Do no more. 
So take care, folks. I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm.